of Pod Save America, John Lovett, John Favreau, and Tommy Vitor. Democrats are feeling a bit of whiplash mm -hmm. over their uh, emotional uh, attachment or lack thereof to Joe Manchin. <laughs> For, for, for a couple years now, they weren't sure how to feel about him. And recently, they thought, that guy, because he killed the climate legislation forever. He said, never going to do the Build Back better. And then, bang, it's he back. does it. You guys never doubted him, right? Never. You guys never doubted we, Joe Manchin. We had been telling people for years that Joe Manchin would come through in the end. For years. Mm -hmm. The man has the soul of a poet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sure, <laughs> sure. Like if you upset him, he'll will, he will boil the oceans. <laughs> but John, you want to take this one? Yeah, no. <laughs> Look, I, I think that he was persuaded that this is the might be the last chance, literally the last chance to save the planet, and that he could help do that with a bill that was also good for the economy, good good for West Virginia, and also good for his own politics. And I think it's it's a good lesson to. Like, never give up on voting, never give up on organizing, never giving up on persuasion, because, like, 40 to 50,000 votes go the other way in Georgia, and we're not talking about this climate bill anymore. And now we are, because Joe Manchin is there, and we didn't give up on persuading him. And, and fellow Democrats didn't give up on persuading him. And, like, people wanted to, a lot of people, you know, we were pretty angry with him. Some people wanted to, like, kick him out of the party, take mm -hmm. away his committee assignments. Yep. That happened we wouldn't be talking about a climate bill right now. So, like, you just, at the end of the day, you got to never give up on trying to persuade someone. Okay, how good is this bill? So, I know we've been hurt by politics. We're yes. wounded birds. Yes. So, when I went to look at the details, I really expected to find a bull****, you know? You expect to find, like, money for houseboats, you know, that kind of thing. Sure. It's surprisingly good. It's a really, uh, a surprisingly forward-looking and really positive step on climate change. So, so when President Biden, President Biden set a goal, and the goal was to reduce emissions by 50% uh, of the amount we were emitting in 2005. It was an ambitious goal. It took a lot of activists to really push Biden to take that position. He did it. Uh, the estimates from experts say that this will get us 31 to 44% of that reduction. That's like pretty impressive, and it does it uh, uh, by investing in things that will also cut a bunch of pollution and a bunch of uh, 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 terrible stuff that just makes life worse and shorter for a lot of people. Uh, and uh, uh, that's obviously anathema to the Republicans. That's, that's their midterm slogan. <laughs> we'll make life worse and shorter. Uh, end of thought. <laughs> <laughs> Hold at second base. Yeah. Just hold it. Set. Hold. Yeah, stay right there. <laughs> stay right there. Um, there is some drilling in there, right? There's yeah. still money for like for for drilling. There'll be drill, right? Yeah, there is to get to get Manchin's vote. But they uh, some a climate group ran the numbers, and basically, for every one ton of carbon emissions that are generated from the oil and gas provisions, mm -hmm. 24 tons of carbon emissions are taken out of the atmosphere okay. uh, from this bill. So I'll it's, take that it's a much better bill I'll take that ratio. Uh, on balance. Yeah. Yeah. All right, perfect. It's not perfect, but it's good. I would also rather we're. Seek, look, I'd rather us be fully wind and solar today, right? But if we're going to seek oil and gas out, I'd rather we do it here than go hat in hand to Saudi Arabia and beg Mohammed bin Salman for mm -hmm. OPEC to drill more. How do you guys feel about the fist bump? How do you feel about the Biden uh, fist bump with uh, MBS? I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was great. But it has to have been thought out. They have to go on, like, what do we do? Yeah. Handshake, you know, shimmy. There what like what little, is? There was too much of a, it was like a little smirk. No, I think the picture was bad. You, you shake hands with people you like, you don't like. It doesn't matter, yeah, right? You tough. fist bump, it's sort of a celebration. And I know it was a COVID thing. They didn't want to didn't touch work. hands. It didn't it, work it on was, the COVID it thing. It was bad. Okay, Senate Republicans uh, <laughs> felt burned that the Democrats did something clever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, they had a unique response. They apparently decided to take out their anger on sick veterans. By, by killing some of the funding for, uh, for, for instance, part of it was for the people who had been exposed in burn pits. Yeah. Where does this fall in the scale of political games that you've seen or cynical behavior that you've seen over the last 20 odd years you've been doing this? Good question. It's, it's, it's hard to beat inciting an insurrection. Uh, you know, That's in true. terms of cynical games, but uh, you know they're trying. Yeah, they're trying. I mean, listen. So you sort of alluded to it. This is a bill that provides health care to veterans who are serving in Iraq and Afghanistan and inhaled fumes from these burn pits where they were burning plastic, paint, like things that you shouldn't be burning. And there's huge uh, incidences of cancer and other 
uh, deadly diseases that are popping up in these otherwise young, healthy veterans. So this is a bill that would expedite health care and disability benefits for these men and women. The bill passed like 82 to 14, overwhelmingly bipartisan bill uh, in the Senate. And then uh, Schumer and Manchin did something intelligent, uh, and the Republicans got mad, and then a bunch of them voted against it. It is one of the most um, horrible, uh, incoherent, politically stupid things I've ever seen in my life, and I'm hoping they'll fix it soon. There's going to be another vote. Yes. Yeah. yeah. They, 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 basically, the Republicans just folded. The, McConnell said today that, like, oh, yeah, we're, uh, there was just some legislative back and forth. We're fine now. We're going we're gonna to vote for it. So they realized that they, they were stupid. They yes. realized that they were not only cruel, but also politically stupid. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, let's talk about uh, the possible control of Congress. Uh, There's going to be, well, the primaries, as I said, five of them today across yes. the United States, and, of course, the midterms coming up. Um, pundits often say, are you guys pundits? Yeah. Are you officially pundits? Yeah. Hey, look, I don't okay. love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so pundits often say the midterms <laughs> are referendums on the current president. To what degree is that true this time, and to what degree is it a referendum on the previous president who won't go away? You know, I think, I think it remains to be seen, but I think voters need to make a choice here. And they need to ask themselves the question, like, wh who's fighting for me, right? Is it the gang that just tried to uh, stick it to dying veterans because they were pissed at Democrats and criminalize abortion and uh, overturn the last election and go after gay marriage? Or is it the, uh, the people who, for the last couple of years, have been trying to lower energy costs, lower prescription drug costs, lower health care costs, save the planet, save democracy, and, uh, you know, make sure that uh, people can marry who they want and start families uh, when they want? So I think that's the choice. And like, you know, we um, at, at Crooked, Crooked Media, you know, four years ago on this show, we launched Vote Save America, which mm -hmm. is a way for uh, everyone to get involved and help in the midterms. You can volunteer, you can organize. And already this year, we have surpassed the number of signups we had in 2018 uh, for volunteers. So if you want to go to votesaveamerica.com uh, and sign up, people can, can get involved in the midterms. Excellent. Well, Tommy. Thank you. John. Good to see you. <laughs> New episodes of Pod Save America are released Tuesdays and Thursdays. John Favreau, John Levitt, and Tommy Vitor, everybody. We'll be right back with comedian Bianca Cristobal.